I'm sorry. Uh, my laptop seems to have been infected with atoms, so its battery is on the way out right now. Uh, so, anyways, um, turn off the microphone. The microphone that left. I apparently left the microphone on. Sorry. <laughs> um. Anyways, I think for the next twenty minutes we can talk about basic editing, so if anyone wants to file out now, no problem, okay? So, for editing Wikipedia, we, let's take a look at an article, for example. Um, random article. Okay, so here we have a Wikipedia article, right? Now, let's try editing using the visual editor, which we talked about earlier. We click... Oh, it's outside the source, okay. Uh, so I have to log into you to find. Okay. So, if we're going to edit this page, we can see the format is complicated, to be honest. Okay, over here, we have what we call templates, which are strings of code which are moved automatically to a website, uh, to another page, using a shortcut, basically. Here we have the text. So these three, same. for bold, yeah, same in Kazakh. Okay, so everyone knows bold italics, yes? Yes. 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 Already? Okay, so bold. Two is for italics, and links and whatnot. Everyone understands that so far? Yes. Okay. And then the markup itself, the equal signs, etc. Okay. Now, what exactly are you not clear on just uh, yet? About links. Uh, can we uh, put links of another site in Wikipedia? Uh, usually, you are supposed to put them in what we call an external link section for references or for links to, to other sites which are not reliable as sources but might be interesting reading. So a lot of Star Trek articles, for example, are linked to Memory Alpha, a Star Trek wiki, because it goes into more detail about stuff that fans might want to know but which would not be appropriate for Wikipedia. Now, in text, you're not supposed to usually. So you're not supposed to put an external link or a link to another website in this text. You're not supposed to usually. OK, any other issues which you would like to discuss for the next 20 minutes? Questions? I'm sorry. Okay. I'm a beginner. I I haven't like, ever really made with Wikipedia with um, I didn't really any article. Okay. And uh, my question is like, could we um, can we translate, for example, Russian Russian uh, article into our national language? All right. Yeah. Is it a Definitely. Yeah. The only thing you need to consider yeah. is that you need to provide attribution. So you need to say where you translated it from, mm -hmm. because the l content, the information, or the text is all released under a Creative Commons attribution share like license. So if you don't say where you got it, it it's will be thrown into plagiarism. Yeah, basically. So the thing is, you can copy and paste the this um, the text yeah. from the Russian Wikipedia to your Wikipedia. Yeah. But if you use templates, templates are not the same uh, on every right. Wikipedia. Maybe you can talk about that. Yeah. Um, a lot of times, though, some templates will not behave the same or will not be supported in another Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. So, for example, when I translate Indonesian articles, mm -hmm. I've had to translate some templates too. So, for example, Alberto Sugiafranata, which I showed earlier, the info box for a Catholic clergy did not exist on the Indonesian Wikipedia yet, so that had to be translated. If it does not exist, it will show up as a red link. So it's not a big mistake, a big failure, but 
Yeah. You have to go into the template translation or the template right. programming. To or just delete the template. Yeah. But it is a consideration as well outside of copyright. Thank you. I forgot all about that. Of course, I do translate from English to German. Oh. Yeah, I've done some Indonesian, but. Any other questions or comments about basic editing? He, he's saying, for example, when you just, for, he has about, I don't know, hundreds, 200 maybe articles. Mm -hmm. well, 100, yeah. So he translates, some of them he translates from Russian version. Okay, but then when he shows the source as Russian Wikipedia, I think they ask, uh, it's what? not right, yeah. Yeah, they say it's not uh, right because you have to show references for Russian Wikipedia. No, uh, I wasn't talking about using the Russian Wikipedia as a source, no, but <coughs> as attribution. So let's look at an article I've translated here, okay. All right, so we have an article on an Indonesian girl band, okay. now. This is translated from the featured article in Indonesian. All right, so this is their article in Indonesian. A lot more fair use than I would have liked, but all right. And as you can see, this is already referenced, right? The references on the English article are still here. We still use the original references. The Indonesian Wikipedia is not the reference. What we do to provide attribution, for the English Wikipedia at least, is we use a template on the talk page to show, oh, this is from another Wikipedia originally. So we attribute the creation of the content to the Indonesian editor. Some Wikipedias have a different style. The French Wikipedia provides attribution on the same, on the actual article. This article was translated in whole or in part from the English article at blah. I don't know what they do in German, same, same as French, right? So it's not as a reference, but just saying where you got this content for saying who wrote it, basically. Um, Okay, so if we look at the French version of this page, because most of my stuff doesn't get translated into French, too specific maybe. Okay, so the French article gives their attribution right in the article. This article was translated in whole in part from the English article entitled, La, See the History. So that's all that's needed to provide attribution in terms of the license. Okay. Same, you take the, uh, the text from a Wikipedia and do it elsewhere, you have to attribute it to. Mm -hmm. It's from Wikipedia and this is a license. And in between Wikipedias, you have to do the same. Mm -hmm. All right. Any just one general yeah. question. This next session of the tea break called Visual Editor, is it this, the same uh, direction as we I are discussing? I think that's, is that today or tomorrow? It's today it's uh, at it's four. Right. Visual Editor is the present and future of editing our wikis, extending the visual that editor. That will be in more detail about the editor, which is like Microsoft Word, which I said earlier. And that, if I'm not mistaken, is in a very big room, so you shouldn't have any trouble trouble fitting in there, but it will be very busy, I think. So, thank you. All right, thank you. I think that's, well, that's all from me. Do you have any basic questions, maybe, that I can help with? Can you suggest where to go for, with our level of time? Oh, right, right. Knowledge. Well, a lot of this is going to be very specific, but uh, visual. All right. So this is going to be uh, technical, so...
Это про программное обеспечение. Четвертое, это, говорит, надо с ноутбуками приходить и прямо на сессии переводить. Вот. Как бы он говорит, остальные все. Просто все миссионеры. Как лучше хочу. Я болт. Ну, это T-Break to four. Окей, Этот, чай чем с... Тверд чай. Спасибо,